I have for you a ghost story that unlike any other ghost story that you've heard in your life, this one is absolutely true. It was a very dark and stormy night. The rain was pounding so hard on the side of the highway that you couldn't see three feet in front of your face. A young college student named John was caught in an unfortunate situation that led him to hitchhike on the side of the highway. One by one, pairs of headlights passed right by John. John felt completely despondent until a pair of headlights came up and approached very slowly. John couldn't see in the car, but he was so cold and so wet and so miserable, he dove into the back of the car without looking. He said, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for stopping. And the car started to move again. And John looked up, and to his absolute horror, there was nobody in the car. Oh. Now the car kept moving through the darkness, and John was too scared to move. The car kept inching forward and inching forward along the highway. Eventually, it made its way to a street, and John saw coming up ahead that there was a corner. There was a concrete barrier. And right as the car approached the concrete barrier, this hand, this ghostly white hand, reached into the driver's side window and pulled the steering wheel so the ghostly car curved around the corner. John was completely petrified at this point. Soon, the car pulled up to some streetlights, and John could see the glowing neon sign of a pub. Mm -hmm. And as the car passed the pub, John panicked. He mustered some courage, and he dove out of the ghostly car. He stumbled with fear into the pub, and he sat down. The bartender saw him shaking with fear and with cold, and he handed him a massive pint of beer. And John drank the whole thing in one swig. The bartender said, you look like you've seen a ghost. He said, no, I think I've been driven around by a ghost. So John sat there and continued to process what he'd seen and just kept drinking shots. Pretty soon, two pair, a pair of gentlemen came walking into the pub and they sat down next to John. And they were in high spirits. They sat down, they ordered a couple drinks and they looked over to John. John was still scared. He looked over at them. And they stared at each other for a minute. And the first man looked at John, went back to his friend and said, Hey, Phil, do you recognize that guy? And Phil went, Yeah, that's the guy who dove in the car when we were pushing it up the street. <laughs> Thank you very much.